Hi, welcome to this video. I will demonstrate how to use FluidOps Information Workbench to import an ontology, integrate two different Excel spreadsheets as data sources, and build a nice dashboard with the integrated data. I already created a small ontology with customer and employee as classes with some properties like first name, last name, and the object property services customer, which connects both objects. Let's start to import this ontology in Information Workbench. First, we go to Settings and choose Ontologies. Here, we can upload the ontology to import it. After the import is done, we can have a look at the ontology in Information Workbench. Here we see the classes and all the properties which belong to this ontology. Ok, let's have a look at the Excel spreadsheets we want to integrate. The first one is about the customer, the name and the location of this headquarter. The second one is about our employees and provides information about first name, last name, job title, department and which customer the employee serves. Back in the Information work Workbench, we navigate to Settings again and choose Data Sources. Let's start with the Customer Spreadsheet and upload it as a data source. In the second step, we have to create a mapping to map the columns from the spreadsheet to the created ontology. Therefore, we can use a nice feature in Information Workbench and create a bootstrap mapping. The bootstrap mapping uses all columns from the data source and map it on the ontology. Here we can see the mapping. So a new subject, a new class is created, uh, it's from class customer and it has the customer name in the URI template. Also we create the label and the has site uh, predicate. Now we use the data source and the mapping to create a new provider. We can repeat this step for the second data source with information about our employees. First create a data source and upload the spreadsheet, then use the bootstrap mapping and in the third step create a data provider to import the data. So let's run the providers customers and for employees. In these few steps we integrated both Excel spreadsheets into Information Workbench. After we imported the ontology and integrated the two data sources we can use the data to create a new dashboard. We can create a new wiki page in Information Workbench by typing a name which doesn't already exist. So we created a new page. Let's edit this page and add a headline.
First, let's create a table with all our customers and their site. Therefore, we use a table result widget and our graphical editor. So the base type is customer and we need the has site attribute here to add it, say done. We will just show 10 rows at once in the dashboard. Therefore, we go to advanced and type 10 as number of displayed rows. I also want to see a map with all the customers' locations. Therefore, we use a Google Maps widget and query the customers and their sites. We also use the label of that customer. The Google Maps widget needs location and description as name of the variables. That's why we rename them here. And in addition, I want to see a bar chart with my employees and the number of customers they are responsible for. Therefore, we use a bar chart widget. Go to graphical editor again, use employees as base type. Then we choose the outgoing property serves customer and add it to the query. And in the next steps, we choose again serves customer and say aggregation count. As input variable, we have to define the employee. And for the output variable, we can use serves customer. By clicking on save, we can have a look on our new dashboard. First, the table with all of our customers, then a Google Maps widget with the location of our customers, and a bar chart widget with our employees and their employee ID and the number of customers they are responsible for.